Um, oops, there I am. Good morning. So more shoulder stretching because this is what I need. Um, but I will get into some leg and hip and back stretches later this week and tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's later this week. Later this week and next week. So um, this one you're going to want a strap or a rope or a jump rope or a sweatshirt or something. Anything. A dish towel. Anything like that that has a little bit of the ability to have um, at least maybe two feet apart. And... Um, Oh, I'm, I'm distracted because Teddy's just waking up. And then that has a little bit of tension on it. So this one, you're going to bring one hand overhead, palm faces out the other way. Grab that strap or towel. Other hand, similar to that stretch we did yesterday, palm faces out, your um, knuckles face in towards your body. You're going to hold the strap with the top hand and with that back hand. And then just, actually I should show you, walk your hands together to wherever you feel like you have um, a tension here and you're just going to hold a few things to keep in mind you want to keep that chin away from your chest so if we're doing this we're not doing our body justice you want to have that elbow facing up towards the ceiling you're going to want to breathe so you're feeling the stretch here through this arm this one here you're feeling it through that shoulder in the arm that's behind you. So again, standing up tall, you have that tension, belly button in, chins away from our chest. You're just gonna hold here, opening up through your shoulders. You might feel it in the other arm as well. And just make sure you're breathing. It's so easy when we're concentrating to hold our breath. And we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna do that when we're working out. We don't wanna do that when we're stretching. You just wanna breathe. I'm going to um, post a breathing exercise later um, in the week just about pulling into your breath and it really does help. So let's do five more here. I don't know if you guys can hear Teddy gabbing away on the monitor. And then switch. So release. Other hand comes up, palms face out towards the other side of your body. Switching arms, palms face out on your back. Find that whatever strap thing you have here and we're just going to hold and you're feeling it underneath the lat of this arm so the lifted arm the lats or at least that's where i'm feeling it you might feel it other places we're tense in different places we need stretches in different places my hair is in my face i'm sure it looks weird but it definitely feels weird so just make sure again that you're breathing you've got enough tension on that that you're feeling a stretch but it shouldn't be painful so you never want to push a stretch to the point of pain. Discomfort, fine. Pain, not fine. So make sure you're standing up tall. Again, chin is away from your chest. Doesn't mean we're looking up at the ceiling, but we're definitely not looking down at the ground either. And just as you feel like you're limbering up a little bit, loosening up, you can place your hands a little closer together. Remember, this is what it looks like in the back. Five more. Oh my gosh, my hair is really bothering me. Four, three, two and one does anybody else like this floating star that's in all the videos it was supposed to be temporary having these stars up but i really like seeing the star so that is it for today's stretch i'll be back tomorrow tomorrow's thursday right i don't know um and don't forget it's not too late to join me if you wanted to do any um any more formal workouts at home i promise you i wouldn't have been doing them still um six years later if they weren't awesome so anyway, um, have a great rest of your day and I will see everybody tomorrow morning or I guess I won't see you, but you'll see me 